cross and the crown. It's Good Friday. I invite you to hear the words read from Hebrews and also from the Psalms. And then, if you have a moment, go to one of the Gospels and read one of the crucifixion stories. It's Good Friday. A reading from the Psalms. Psalms 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you, our ancestors trusted, they trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your calls to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. On you I was cast from my birth. And since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me. Strong bulls, abushams surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breasts. My mouth is dried up like a pot shirt, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count on my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothes amongst themselves. For my clothing they cast lots. But you, O oh Lord, do not be far away. O oh help, come quickly to my soul. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. From the horn of the wild oxen you have rescued me. I will tell of your name to my brothers and sisters. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him indeed shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow all who go down to dust, and I will shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. Therefore, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. 
In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up prayers and supplications with loud cries and tears to the one who was able to save him from death and he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and having been made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. Amen. Let's pray. Grieving God, on the cross your son embraced death, even as he had embraced life faithfully and with good courage. Grant that we who have been born out of, this, out of his wounded side may hold fast to our faith in him exalted and may find mercy in all times of need. Amen. <laughs>